Hi there, Pastor Brian here uh, with another Pastor's Corner, and I'm just wondering how are you doing? How are you? How are you holding up with these uh, the stay-at-home order, the social isolation? How are you responding to it? How are you handling it? Are you keeping fervently busy with all the the chores, the to-do list, the honeydews, the things around your house that before now you had good excuse not to get done? Perhaps you haven't had time to get done, so now you find yourself keeping busy with those. Perhaps on the other end of the spectrum where you find yourself just kind of doing a lot of nothing. Lots of television, lots of Facebook, lots of Netflix, lots of just mindless things. Or uh, hopefully you're, you're drawing closer to the Lord. I imagine whatever you're doing, you're probably uh, starting to really feel the, the effects of now for, at least for our family, it's been four weeks. We got home from our cruise on March 16th, Monday, March 16th. So yesterday was four weeks of being at home and uh, not really seeing anybody. Two weeks of definitely not seeing anybody. So it, it, it gets tough. And I imagine it's getting tough for you all. It's tough for introverts, tough for extroverts, tough even as we, we seek the Lord. But today I just want to encourage you, and let's go to Psalm 23. I know it's a very familiar passage, but there's some comforting things in here I want us uh, to see. And probably as I mentioned, Psalm 23, it might not even be what you expect. Psalm 23. So David writes, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to run furiously in the green pastures, eating up as much as I can. He leads me beside still water so I can guzzle up all the water at a furious pace. Well, obviously, you know that those aren't the first two verses. You know, it's, it's kind of, at least that's on the second verse, it's kind of close, but it's way off. No, we know that he makes me to lie down in green pastures. So Jesus gets us there. God gets us to a place where we're to, to lie down. He's brought us to a place of abundance to lie down, to enjoy, to get refreshed, to get renourished. He leads me beside still waters. He just leads me there beside them to drink them up at, as my, at my leisure, to get refreshed, once again, to get renourished. So today I come to you with Caleb here in the background, the kayak. This is what I did on Monday. As many of you know, Monday is the day I observe as my Sabbath, not because it's the seventh day of the week, but it's a day where I set aside to get refreshed, to get renourished from the week. It's part of my, my weekly rhythm. So I try to uh, work hard, serve as unto the Lord, uh, but need at least that one day a week to get refreshed, to get recharged. And with being at home, it's been tough to get refreshed, to get recharged. I, I like being outside. And so for me, getting refreshed, getting recharged, I pulled out this kayak, which has been sitting in our backyard <laughs> at least a year without being used. As the girls were doing school where Caleb and I, we hit the lake. We did a little paddling around. We had fun, enjoyed the sun, did a little fishing, caught a little bass. It was, it was a great time. It was an incredibly refreshing day. It was a day that I so desperately needed to get refreshed. Later on, I took Audrey and Caleb out in the evening, and I did some more paddling, did some more fishing. Wasn't successful in catching any fish, but we had a great time. It was great just being on the water. It was great paddling around. So my question for you is, what refreshes you? What reinvigorates you? What, uh, what activity? And obviously, the, the good, easy answer is Jesus. Jesus, absolutely, he refreshes us. But he's given us different enjoyments, different passions in life, different leisurely activities that we enjoy doing. And I would encourage you, especially, especially at this time, to take a day off from what you've been doing, whether you've been working fervently hard, but we're not designed to work at fervently hard, fast paced day, 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 day without a break. That's why God over and over again, the Sabbath, remember the Sabbath was created for man. Man wasn't created for the Sabbath. The Sabbath was created for man so that we could take this breath, this break to get renourished. So what, what, what reinvigorates you? What, what renourishes you? Is it being time out in the water? Is it bike rides around the neighborhood? Is it just a walk around the neighborhood? Is it a game? What, what is it that's really going to uh, re-nourish you? 
I would encourage you, please, please, please do this. Make this a part of your rhythm in your work week, rhythm in your life. Taking this time to enjoy. And I think this is one of many things that the Lord probably wants to teach us for those of us that work a bunch or those of us who perhaps we should be working more, having that healthy rhythm in life. So please encourage you, pray about what, what can you do to just get out and enjoy. Maybe it's just going for a car ride. Please observe the, 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 the social distancing. Please observe uh, keeping other people safe, keeping yourself safe. But you need a break too. You need to get re refreshed and renourished. So what do you enjoy doing? And please go do that. Spend that time. Take time for yourself. You need to get refreshed. You need to get nourished. Get that rhythm in life. But thank you for joining me and let's pray. Lord, I thank you that you do put things in our life, things in our heart, things that we enjoy doing. Thank you for the many pleasures that you have blessed us with. In Bay County, we have uh, so much water to be blessed with. Thank you so much. We have beautiful weather. We can be outside. We can do so many things. And so, Lord, I pray that you would help us take time apart to spend time doing what we enjoy doing. Lord, help us to not feel guilty, but Lord, rather re refresh us, reinvigorate us as you desire. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.